All right, continuation on the Hurricane Hydronic Heating System. What I did was I took it apart to service it. So I'm going to go step by step on you. This panel right here was down in there. Just four little machine screws. Okay, right there, they're Phillips. All right, and you got to check for the gasket here. I'll probably be changing this one because it's starting to rip right here. All right, because air pressure builds up in there. All right, now, then you have to take this. This is the whole burner assembly, okay? And it swirls down in there, and then this swirls the heat out this exhaust right here. That's exhaust. I'm going to get a flashlight on that because the sun's bright. I can't see it that good. Right there. That little hole right there. That's under here, that exhaust right there. All right, now this is pretty clean in there, but I'm gonna still wipe it down, clean it up, wire brush it a little bit. This outer part is where the water gets pumped through. All right, and you had four, five, five sixteenths, screw nuts holding them, all stainless steel. This whole thing is stainless. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what's going on. One, I showed you in the first video. Uh, this is a CAD cell or a flame sensor, okay? And it's plastic. So actually, it's, it's going to see it. The air blows through here. And this is the fuel solenoid that turns on, okay? And then this is the air. All right, and then this is the igniter. All right, it gets hot red like a cigarette lighter, okay? So it's in there like that. So we'll pull that out. We'll look at it. Looks pretty clean. I'll still clean it up, though. I don't see... It just gets glow. It looks like a hot glow plug, okay? I already showed you that in the first video. Here's the cotter key, or hairpin key. I'll put that back in there. Okay. Oh, missed that hole, didn't I? All right, well, I'm gonna put that in my little box. Okay, now, this thumb screw right here will come off, okay? Put you on pause. Okay, so that came off. I'll put it back on real quick. All right, yeah, undo the thumb screw. Slide it out and look at that nozzle. It is dirty, folks. Dirty. Shame of me. I'm going to get that cleaned up, okay? But I'll show you something else. This is the fuel solid cutoff solenoid. Valve number. Let me see if it's messed up enough. Uh, U14115. Farmington, Connecticut. 0632. 4198 watts. 6 watts so you take watts divided by 12 volts and it tells you how many amps this draws okay orifice is eighth inch all right volts 12 volt dc all right kip incorporated farmington connecticut you still get parts for these this is the bobbin this comes off you just get the bobbin all right any good number it gets hot in there that's the flame sensor right here right Right there, that little hole, it senses the flame over here. And we're going to take this apart and show you there's a filter down in there, a little stone filter. All right, so there's the little filter. I had to take the nozzle out. We already did a breakdown of that. I'm just going to put the new nozzle in. And then it's down in that hole down in there. Right, let me get you a better view. Right down in there. All right, so I'll put a new one in there. Let me put you on pause. I think the delivery guy's here. All right, so I took a little break here, ate something. So we're back to the nozzle. We broke that down. It was really filthy. So I'm going to tear it apart. I'm going to change this stone out. I got a bunch of them. It's a filter. Remember, oh, man, that's a, that's a little bugger there. All right. And the fuel solenoid's got a screen in it. All right. Everything's looking pretty good, actually. 
Sometimes when this gets soot on it, it can't see the flame, so the flame will start and it'll shut off. We'll go over the voltage that this produces. All right, and of course this is self-grounding right here. So this is a hot signal, B plus, battery positive, 12 volt, it goes to that. All right, that was the tear down of that. So now I'm gonna get in there, clean that hole out a little bit. It ain't that bad. All right, and that's what you wanna look for. You look for cracks, anything getting moist. Sometimes they'll crack and they'll leak, like all like down in here. So that's why I have this, my air bleed. Notice I pinched off the hose, the fuel hose. Okay, I got special pinchers that won't cut them. And then that's air. The big one's air. The little one's fuel, diesel. Well, I'll show you how I get them off. Sometimes you can pull them. I just use this right here. And I kind of slide them off that way. I got this size. There's, there's the part number. You can get a kit of these at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, you don't have to buy Snap-on stuff. I used to take all the stuff on the taxes, but now I'm retired. Well, there's my bigger one for the bigger hoses. And then there's that part number. I can't even.